The KRA-15 extruder is a stainless steel syringe for emulsifiable materials with service temperatures of up to 200 degrees C. Today we're going to give you a quick overview of the Krakatoa, the KRA-15, uh, and also the KCD, the Krakatoa with Crosslink on Demand. These can take the same tubes, but you don't get as much heat delivery. So what we ship with these is the stainless steel tube. There's also a version 2 for the KR2 where you can replace this standard tube with a high precision one with double gaskets on the piston and uh, more precisely machined components instead of just a threaded rod it actually has a ball screw to dispense the plunger. But for today I'll just show you this tube because they load exactly the same way. Put this in here. If that's too tight you can use a screwdriver to spread these a little bit. These should be coming out with a peak um, temperature shield so you don't burn your fingers on that because it can get up to 200 C. So this head here is for gels, pastes, and emulsifiables that you want to print at up to 200 degrees C. This includes uh, not only stuff like wax but also polycaprolactone and other high temperature materials. Now this head will come with uh, a 3 inch extension so if you want to go all the way down to the bottom of the tube, you're going to want to put that extension in here before you start your print so that you can get the entire capacity of the tube out. And when you load your head, you want to, oops, this one takes a three millimeter. Uh, actually, this is an older one. They take three or four millimeters now. This is an older version. This just takes a two and a half millimeter driver to tighten that into place. You slide this guy down, and ideally you would have the extension in here, but you're ready to print. So this is the part that heats up. These silver wires are your temperature return. The red wires are your heat. These are the gibs, or this head slides into the slots on the yoke. This is your lure tip adapter if you're using that, which you definitely want to use for these heads because they're so short. Uh, these are the screws for adjusting the position of the circuit board. If you have to adjust this up or down, your connectivity to the yoke, your programming port. So if there's a new firmware release, you're going to want to load up your ST-Link and flash new firmware. Uh, power runs up here. This slides up and down on this bearing so you can get the full travel. And this one, I, you can't probably make it out with that camera angle but this says PG100 so this one actually has a 100 to 1 planetary gear so you're not going to break any land speed records printing with this but it'll give you a lot of power if you have a, a viscous material and or a very narrow uh, gauge lure tip here you'll want the higher gear reduction on this if you had the KCD the Krakatoa with Crosslink on Demand you would just have that little LED array again on the bottom that this would pass through and the the code to turn the LEDs on and off is the same as it would be for the cooling fan on this typical head. So that would be an M106 command with S and then the number would be your percentage of duty cycle. So S50, S0, S100, S whatever you want. Uh, on these LEDs, they're the same as all the others. You've got heartbeat, CAN bus, transmit, receive, and error. And on the other side you've got the heater power, the COD power, the motor direction, and the motor power in red. For more information on these or any of our accessories, visit highrail3d.com or highrail3d.net.